my dears. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Teresa and I'm here in Kamloops, British Columbia on the unceded and occupied territory of the Shaquetmuk people. Today we're going to learn about some insects that live in the woods. Then we're going to learn the names of three types of butterflies. We'll check on those seeds that we planted a few weeks ago. We'll do our beehive poem, and then we'll say goodbye. Let's start with our bluebird song. You can sing along if you like. This book is called A Day in the Woods. And it is about uh, this little boy who goes out first walking and exploring in the woods, in the forest. It's from the Books for Young Explorers by the National Geographic Society. Let's see what's inside. We're going to look at one particular page today, all about insects. The forest is full of insects. They live everywhere. They live in the trees and on the ground, in the streams or the water. This brown walking stick looks like a twig. So that makes him hard to see for birds or other animals that want to eat him. It's called a walking stick. This praying mantis catches other insects with its long front legs. Can you say praying mantis? This dragonfly just wiggled out of its skin. That's his old skin. As an insect grows, its skin becomes too tight. Then the skin splits open and new skin is underneath. That's how insects grow. That's how they get bigger. Butterflies fly through the forest. They bring color like spots of sunshine. Here we have a buckeye butterfly. And this one is called a little metal mark butterfly. They're both butterflies, but they look different. You can see the red splotches and the circles on the wings. And this one has black polka dots around the edge of their wings. Both butterflies have long antenna. I 
also have some cards here. With other types of butterflies. Here we have a monarch butterfly. The monarch butterfly is orange and black and has white spots on the edge of their wings. Monarch butterfly. You can see they two of their legs here and their two antennas too. So that one is called monarch butterfly. Here we have the purple admiral. Purple admiral. He's purple and blue. Purple admiral. Can you see his antenna? There they are. Antenna. And this last one is called a swallowtail. It has long tips on the ends of its wings, kind of like a swallowtail bird or a swallow bird. It's got those black stripes on its yellow wings. Can you see the antenna? There they are. One, two. So we have monarch, purple admiral, and swallowtail. There are, there are many different kinds of butterflies and they all have different colors and different names. So those are just a few types of butterflies. And butterflies are insects. So I wanted to show you how our plants are doing. We planted these seeds on May 6th and now it is May 26th. So it has been 20 days. I watered the seeds every day with my spray bottle. And even though we planted 12 seeds, only two are growing. So We've got one cosmos and one zinnia. They're a little bit different. I'm going to show you closer. So here we have the cosmos. You can see the leaves are narrow. And here we have the zinnia. The leaves are a little bit more round. Can you see the difference? Zinnia and cosmos. So the other seeds didn't work, but that's okay. I'm going to transfer these ones into my garden and see if they like it in a bigger pot. And look here. My basil plants are still growing. I still have one, two, three basil plants. The thing that I like about growing things is that you can always try something new. And if it doesn't work, you just try again. So let's do our beehive poem, and then we'll say goodbye. Where's your hive? Here is a beehive. 
But where are the bees? They're hidden inside where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you for joining me today. See you again soon.